A simple document automation that we see all day long um, and that we do for clients all day long and teach clients how to do is basically going ahead and creating a template in the CRM. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a template. Then and what you're gonna do is create a mail merge template. So I've got one I put in here called Zanata Consulting SOW. And if you go in, you have a whole lot of things you can do here. So when you're building out these templates, you actually have the ability to pull in fields from whatever record you're working on, as well as any records that are related to that record. So in this case, I'm looking at a deal and it's going to go ahead and it's going to pull in the account name that's associated with that deal. And it's going to pull in the contact name that's associated with that deal. And then down here at the very bottom, you can see I have the assigned tags that are perfectly put in here. You notice also here, this is again, pulling from the CRM. I've got the contact and then the account name one more time. So when you go ahead and, you know, you basically go ahead and construct your entire agreement in the CRM as a template. And then once you've done that and you've got all your fields, maybe you're pulling in the client's address, maybe you're pulling in billing information. Um, our templates are extremely detailed. You can pull in subforms into these. You can pull in, you know, how many hours, maybe how much work you're doing, you know, you name it, you basically can construct these and make them look very nice and create these templates that are just pretty much ready to go at any time. So what does that look like? So here I am, I'm in the deal. And what I'm going to do is you're going to click on these little, this little ellipse up here, and that is going to bring down a sub menu in which you will see mail merge. And by clicking the mail merge, it's going to ask you which template you want to choose. And you choose the one you could have a variety of templates. When you build these templates, you are building them though for a specific module. So if you're wanting to send something out of contacts, you're going to create a mail merge template specifically for contacts. If you're going to send them out of deals, you're going to create a mail merge template for deals, leads, accounts, so on. So it's important to know that you're only going to be able to select the template as long as you've made it and it's associated with the right module. In this case, I'm in deals. I have this SOW and contract. You basically click the merge button. And once you go ahead and click that merge button, it's going to take you to this page. This is just kind of a pre-page where you can kind of check everything out and go through the document. You really don't want to make any major changes here unless you're wanting to do an update to the template. Um, most of the time you're going to click, it's going to give you this page and you're just going to click this run merge button. Once you click the run merge button, it's actually going to take you out of the CRM completely and put you into Zoho Writer. And this is really important because once you're in Zoho Writer, you have an entire suite of tools that are available to you. So here you can do any custom editing. You can kind of go through the document, see if there are anything you're missing, anything you want to do. Uh, you can compose, you can send it for review. But what we're going to talk about here is the distribute button. And once you've got your document ready to go, if you go ahead and click distribute, it's going to bring up these options for you. So you actually can publish this document to the web. You can email it. You can turn it into a blog post. You can create another template out of this template. You probably wouldn't want to do that. Download it, print it. But what do we care about? What we care about here is the upload to sign services. And when you do that, um, you have Zoho Sign, Adobe Sign, DocuSign, and Sign Easy. So if you have any of those accounts, those are already integrated in and you can easily send a document that way but we're talking about Zoho Sign here. So you basically just select Zoho Sign. It's now gonna ask you to go ahead and upload the document to Zoho Sign. Once the document is successfully uploaded, you will hit next and it will take you directly into Zoho Sign. And as you can see, you basically have got the contract there ready to go. All of the links, everything we've looked at before, where all the sign fields are perfectly in place, everything's done. All you have to do is put the email in, add yourself, and go ahead and send it out, and it's completely ready to go. So that's a nice automation, making sure that the data that you have in your CRM matches up with the data that you've got inside any contracts or anything you're putting out. Um, so a real kind of simple use of sign tags there, as well as a base automation inside the CRM. And a couple little things to highlight about some some values of doing things that way is like if you if the document is being generated using CRM data, it's an extra incentive for the team to make sure that the CRM data is accurate. 
So if Brett wants to prepare, you know, a contract and it's going to involve 30 hours, well, if he knows that that field is going to pull from the deal, then it's a nice little incentive for the team to actually log that value in the deal consistently, because then the contract will just be completed for them. Um, one other little minor usability thing to note as you go through those steps to do mail merges, they're actually going to open new windows. And so we have seen with some people the first time they try to do it, it'll get caught in a pop up blocker. So just something to double check as you if you, you know, if you take this webinar and kind of go and play around with this to set it up yourself. If things aren't popping up as you're running the mail merge, just check that pop up blocker. And once you allow them, it should be good to go moving forward.